Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Patricia Stewart of Patricia Stewart Originals. What I have here, I selected some prints that I had and I cut them in strips like this and I am going to weave them through uh, to create a woven uh, piece of art. And so I don't know if you could see here, I had this is double sided tape. I put a slanted piece here and here uh, because I'm doing them a little shorter each one and then go back up again and repeat that. And because I'm going to weave in the center what I need, I need for these top and bottom to be stabilized uh, so that I can get the pieces through it. And so I'm going to finish this layer, the bottom layer, and then do the weaving in. Okay, so here's the finished piece, and um, the fun thing with this is you can weave it straight across, slanted, any way that you like. Um, and I chose to weave a few and then go in a different direction, cutting it off there. And then I added some mark making uh, to it. So there are different ways that you can do it. It's not just one way of doing it. Just make sure that when you secure, lay down your first pieces before you start weaving, that you put some double-sided tape on the back of them so that they don't move as you're weaving. So you want to Put some double sided tape at the top and at the, where they are at the bottom just a little so it doesn't move as you're weaving back and forth and you want to allow yourself just a little bit more space than I have for weaving in and out just a tiny bit of space in between each uh, one and you can you know do your colors 
any way that you want to do your colors, your prints, um, whatever way works uh, for you. For me, I use the darker pieces to define it. Um, and so, I didn't really focus on the color pattern. So this is just an easy um, thing to do. Uh, it's a good way to use up pieces of your gel prints. Now I'm using eight by eight and a half by eleven uh, brochure paper is my backing here. But you can use cut your sheets of uh, if you have larger sheets nine by twelve. You can work with as larger pieces you're willing to weave. Um, so yes, um, this this is can be very interesting. I think the the more color variation, or you can do something that's monochromatic. You can use you know black, white, and grays. Uh, you could use solid colors in between prints, or you can just go with all solid uh, colors. It depends on uh, what you want to do. It, it certainly creates its own design and its own look, you know, depending on the patterns and solids or, or whatever. Um, it'd be fun to see how it works with stripes. That would really be interesting. So, um, thanks for stopping by today. It's just another gel print idea. Um, have fun with it.